our imagination. Old maps that said, here be monsters, the last remaining territory on the planet that could have such a designation is Antarctica. Hidden beneath its icy surface, Antarctica holds puzzling secrets that could potentially change our understanding of history and challenge established beliefs. The shocking account from a former naval officer, naval flight engineer, he's asked me to call him only Brian in the world public, unveils the existence of an entrance to a mysterious underground base. How did this secret base come to light? And why are world powers determined to keep it hidden? Join us as we unravel why Antarctica was shut down by the U.S. after a drone captured what no one was supposed to see. Number 1. A frozen wonderland of secrets and stories. Antarctica, the massive icy wonderland at the end of the Earth, has always been a bit of a mystery to us humans. It is a large chunk of ice that's about 32.5 million square miles big, making it the coldest, driest, and windiest place on the planet. Now, you might think with all that icy real estate, Antarctica would be bustling with people, right? Well, not quite. It's home to less than 10,000 brave souls, mostly scientists and researchers, who face the wild weather to uncover the secrets hidden in its frosty embrace. And it gets seriously cold down there, like a shocking 56.2 degrees Fahrenheit, with the coldest days hitting a terrifying 128.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The winds in Antarctica are like something out of this world, blasting at speeds faster than a cheetah can run. 186 miles per hour to be exact. Add in relentless snowstorms that can stick around for weeks, and you've got yourself an environment that's tough as nails. Beneath all that ice, Antarctica holds secrets that mess with our history books. Way back in the 1500s, the Perry Race map showed Antarctica way before we officially discovered it in 1820. How did those ancient map makers know about this frozen wonderland? And why were they so spot on in their drawings? It's a mystery that keeps historians and scientists scratching their heads. Even though it might sound like an abandoned place, Antarctica's isolation has kept it perfectly clean. Thanks to the Antarctic Treaty signed in 1959, it's like a no-go zone for any major human activity. Twelve nations got together and decided to use it for science. So Antarctica is like the VIP section of the Earth reserved for top-notch research on climate and atmosphere without any pollution or city noise. In a nutshell, Antarctica is like the ultimate ice kingdom, a frozen wonderland that's both crazy challenging and very mysterious, and it's doing a pretty good job staying clean, thanks to some international agreements. Additionally, the extreme cold has preserved ancient meteorites and microbial life forms that provide glimpses into our solar system's distant past. Meteorites offer precious extraterrestrial material to analyze the formation of our solar system over 4.6 billion years ago. Meanwhile, scientists have discovered microfossils and extremophiles buried deep in Antarctic ice that reveal remarkable evolutionary tales of survival and adaptation expanding our understanding of life's tenacity. Beyond its research value, Antarctica sparks a sense of glory and inspiration that few places on Earth can equal. Its glacial landscapes create sites of profound beauty, from electric blue ice caves to braided ice rivers that flow silently toward the sea. Standing in Antarctica is no ordinary experience. It is surreal and emotional blending the continent's stunning beauty with its icy, isolated vibe. People have tried to capture this magic through art, photos, poems, and stories, but it's like trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Here's the problem, though. This magical place is at risk. Antarctica plays a crucial role in keeping our climate and weather in check. Its ice sheets are like the Earth's own water reserve, and its chilly waters are a big deal for global weather patterns. Sadly, Rising temperatures are messing with Antarctica's cool, causing more surface melting and making some areas unstable. Scientists are waving red flags, warning that climate change could negatively affect the balance of life in Antarctica and make sea levels rise. With over 250 billion metric tons of ice disappearing each year, there's a real worry about keeping Antarctica's ecosystem safe. 
Plans like creating protected areas, setting fishing rules, and keeping tabs on penguins and whales aim to protect the critters teetering on the edge. On top of all this, there's a bit of drama over who gets to claim what in Antarctica. Big countries like Russia, China, and the U.S. are eyeing the place for its hidden treasures, minerals, and oil under all that ice. The 1959 Antarctic Treaty was supposed to keep things cool, but it's feeling the heat as countries get greedy for resources. The big question is, can we keep Antarctica's cool vibe while dealing with climate change, global politics, and human dreams of striking it rich? Some folks want to keep it wild and protected, while others are itching to cash in on its resources. It's like a cosmic tug of war between saving the planet and making a quick buck. Despite all the chaos, Antarctica keeps its cool. Its unique creatures have figured out how to survive crazy winters, and its ancient mountains have seen it all. There's still so much we don't know about this icy wonderland. Strange geography, wild weather, and the secrets of creatures that thrive in extremes. Antarctica is like a mysterious treasure chest, and maybe hidden in its ice is the key to understanding just how tough life can be. As the legendary explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton once said, we need to dig deeper and challenge what we think we know about polar survival. Beyond its captivating landscapes and breathtaking scenery, Antarctica holds a wealth of untold stories, and we've only just begun to uncover them. Number 2. A Journey Through Time and Secrets Shocking tales of Antarctic adventures curiously stretch back to the era of American polar explorer Admiral Richard Byrd in the 1920s. Byrd's reputation soared after leading creative air tours over the North and South Poles in 1926 and 1929, making him a national hero. However, it was Byrd's 1947 claim of stumbling upon a massive entrance to a hidden underground world during an Antarctic journey that truly shocked the post-war public. According to his story, Byrd descended for miles over ice-free lands teeming with mountains, forests, vegetation, and even very large animals. He was, however, ordered to turn back by threatening disc-shaped aircraft. When Byrd returned to the U.S., his incredible account was quickly suppressed under mysterious pressure from authorities. Admiral Byrd faced a swift campaign to seize records and silence all crew survivors about any unusual Antarctic sightings. Byrd's fame and credibility made it tough to discredit his strange testimony. The brains of the Antarctic cover-up realized that their usual tactics of ridicule and denial wouldn't work against such a respected national figure. Byrd underwent documented questioning under U.S. Navy psychiatric observation before suddenly withdrawing his story weeks later. The crew members, once vocal about Antarctica, suddenly refused to comment, and Byrd withdrew from public life for the rest of his days. The government's message was crystal clear. Reputations and lives were on the line for anyone daring to breach imposed confidentiality. Suppressing Byrd's account only fueled greater suspicion about what terrifying truth officials were working so hard to hide. While authorities dismissed Byrd's admissions as polar delirium, millions remained unconvinced, especially given the stonewalled denials against an admired pioneer adventurer. If Antarctica concealed anything resembling Byrd's descriptions of a lush inner world with advanced disc crafts and giant-sized creatures, the implications for science, history, and society were shocking. Speculation initially focused on perceived national security interests, geostrategic competition for Antarctic resources with rival superpowers, and the desire to maintain a public perspective of normalcy. The U.S. Navy likely feared Soviet weaponization of a hidden Antarctic domain against America's Pacific weakness. Scientific institutions dreaded revelations about the mining existence of field theory physics and advanced medicine for a century. The political elite wished to avoid social instability by disclosing that existing maps of Earth's geology were disturbingly incomplete. The immense secrecy imposed by several leading governments following Byrd's suppressed account suggested interests far beyond usual nationalistic, scientific, 
or ideological goals. Byrd's testimony hinted that Antarctica concealed secrets challenging the entirety of human knowledge and origins. Declassified FBI documents confirmed federal surveillance on every member of Byrd's 1947 expedition until their passing, showing a security threat tied specifically to their personal experiences, rather than just geopolitical security coincident with the Cold War era. Clearly, authorities understood that the implications of Byrd's admissions surpassed ordinary spatial territoriality or technological advances. By timing the public release of his extraordinary Antarctic revelations while still stationed on the frozen continent, Admiral Byrd likely aimed to establish dominance over the narrative against suppression efforts by authorities. This strategy initially succeeded, as American press circulated doubtful headlines about the famous polar explorer discovering a lost temperate world filled with advanced life beyond Earth's known South Pole borders. The illusion, however, shattered when Byrd was forced to withdraw his statements under confidentiality a few weeks later. This allowed the government's counteroffensive to tarnish his name, and Antarctica faded from public interest for decades until new retired military eyewitnesses like Brian emerged. Yet the cracks in the enforced Antarctic secrecy slowly widened. Byrd's experience strangely echoes the tales told by Brian, a retired U.S. naval flight engineer. Number 3. Unraveling the Antarctic Mystery In January 2015, investigative journalist Linda Moulton Howe received an email from Brian with an extraordinary story from his time in Antarctica in the 80s and 90s. Brian claimed he witnessed some seriously strange phenomena during his 4,000 flight hours over Antarctica. The most interesting part of his story was the discovery of a massive, perfect circle carved into the Antarctic ice sheet, leading to a glowing cave entrance below. But the story took a strange turn when Brian attempted to get closer. All the gadgets in his aircraft went out of order, forcing an emergency restart. After this encounter, authorities confiscated records and refused to communicate with Brian and his crew. Shocked by Brian's account, Linda delved deeper. Brian revealed that in 1987, during a resupply flight out of McMurdo Station, he and his crew received last-minute orders to pick up something from a remote campsite in Antarctica's interior. Upon arrival, they found the camp in disarray and abandoned, with no signs of human activity. This unsettling situation marked the beginning of a series of disappearances at Antarctic stations. Strange radio bursts in unfamiliar languages preceded each disappearance, originating from an unknown source deep under the ice. As the crew grew increasingly anxious, Brian's co-pilot spotted a large, shiny craft silently gliding past their cockpit. It resembled something out of a science fiction movie, a white, smooth-surfaced, diamond-shaped vessel over 100 feet in diameter. Brian dutifully reported the sighting upon their return, but things took a turn for the worse. Men in black suits accompanied by high-ranking naval officers arrived at McMurdo and ordered Brian to retract his report about the strange aircraft. When he refused, he faced serious threats. Weeks later, while exploring a remote area, Brian picked up a faint distress signal from inside an ice shelf. Following the signal, they discovered a peculiar circular hole in the ice, glowing mysteriously. But as they circled to investigate, their plane's systems suddenly shut down. It was a distressing experience, but they managed to restore power and escape unharmed. Back at McMurdo, Brian sent a coded alert about the strange ice hole, but surprisingly, a bunch of classified convoys headed there. Brian then found himself grilled by a panel of suited folks from DARPA, who warned him to keep his mouth shut about the weird sightings in Antarctica. DARPA is the U.S. government's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. DARPA has a long history of exploring human-machine interfaces, which involve connecting the brain to external systems. This has been a core part of DARPA's mission in the field of information technology since its inception, and it remains a focus today. DARPA has been responsible for the creation of many innovative technologies that we now take for granted, such as the Internet, self-driving cars, stealth technology, and GPS. The agency's specialty is envisioning the future 
and making it a reality. One of the technologies that DARPA is currently working on is the development of sensors that could be placed on or inside the body, allowing humans to directly control machines with their thoughts. This could include controlling communication devices, processing equipment, weapon systems, and even robots and drones. While this technology has many potential applications in both civilian and military contexts, there are concerns that it could also be used for more criminal purposes, such as mind control. DARPA has a history of funding research into how the human mind can be altered, and there are ongoing programs within the agency to read and write to human brains. In addition to direct mind control, DARPA is also exploring the use of gene editing technologies, such as CRISPR, to modify the human brain. This could potentially allow for more permanent forms of mind control by altering the DNA of brain cells. The ethical implications of these technologies are significant, and there is a need for careful consideration of their potential impact. While technologists may be focused on the technical aspects of these technologies, policymakers, academics, and others need to consider the ethical implications and ensure that these technologies are used responsibly. Brian connected the interference of DARPA with the unsolved cases of missing scientists and abandoned research outposts in Antarctica over the years. It's like a frozen X-Files down there. Haunted by a sense of responsibility, Brian carried immense guilt for keeping quiet about the unsettling incidents in Antarctica, knowing his fellow servicemen faced threats for speaking out. Luckily, he found an ally in Linda Howe, a dedicated investigator eager to bring suppressed accounts to light and expose the truth behind a potential Antarctic cover-up. Number 4. Linda's Quest for Truth Over several years, Linda conducted thorough investigations, gathering testimonies from military witnesses supporting Brian's claims. They spoke of advanced airships near Antarctica, strange IC radio transmissions, and USO, popularly referred to as unidentified submerged objects, moving at terrifying speeds in the Southern Ocean. Classified satellite imagery revealed temporary domed installations in Antarctica, mysteriously destroyed to hide covert activities. Linda also uncovered the obituaries of numerous researchers who specialized in Antarctic studies and died prematurely after incidents on the ice. Further digging exposed decades of secretive expeditions led by powerful military and scientific entities to Antarctic locations, raising questions about their true objectives. Despite Antarctica being a scientific preserve, geopolitical tensions have risen due to overlapping territorial claims, sparking fears of resource exploitation and nuclear deployment. Today, Linda faces challenges from mysterious security agencies as she digs deeper into Antarctica's increasing secrecy and security. However, mainstream support for her investigations is growing. The fate of life on our planet depends on transparency about Antarctica's future, a transparency consistently denied by those in power. At this crucial juncture, we must stand with truth-seekers like Linda and confront reality with an open but critical mind. As revelations about Antarctica's secrets emerge, our focus should be on seeking wisdom rather than giving in to fear. It's time to prioritize facts over suppression or denial, even if it means struggling with disturbing truths that may reshape human history as we understand it. Brian's time flying over Antarctica turned into a wild sci-fi adventure against the icy beauty of the continent. Researchers disappeared, got scared, and wouldn't spill the beans, adding a mysterious vibe to Brian's story. But the real head-scratcher is that Brian kept seeing shiny silver things doing crazy moves in the bright Antarctic skies, defying all known science. On one flight over the Queen Maud mountain range, Brian and his crew saw shiny silver disks, perfectly round, pop up one after the other from behind an icy peak. Floating towards Mount Fridjof in a neat line, they were about 30 to 40 yards wide, and their smooth surfaces didn't shine, making them look solid against the blue sky. They moved like nothing we humans could make. Synchronized spins, crazy speed-ups, and mid-air rotations with no wings or jets. After 15 minutes of this weird movement, the disks zipped behind Mount Fridjof, 
leaving Brian and his crew short of words. They couldn't believe what they just saw in Antarctica's skies. The tech on display that day hinted at way smarter beings working over Earth's southern pole than we thought possible. But here's the real puzzle in Brian's tale. The discovery of a massive hole in the Antarctic ice leading to a glowing cave below. The hole was smoother than any modern drill could make, with a cool blue glow. As if that wasn't enough, all their gear went haywire when they got close, such as radar, navigation, controls, you name it. Everything was okay anywhere else, but within a kilometer of that weird ice cave, it became chaos. Brian filed a report about it all, detailing electromagnetic craziness and spotting three fast-moving objects shooting out of the cave at super speeds. But guess what? The report got snatched away by some unknown dudes who wanted everyone to keep quiet. This whole thing messed with Brian's head. It reminded him of old stories about mysterious spaces under Antarctica's surface from Admiral Byrd's secret naval tour in 1947. Brian even risked solo flights over the anomaly, where wild electrical stuff messed with his gear. On his last flight, before they banned him from the zone, Brian saw a silver disc chilling inside the ice cave. Then, boom, the disc shot up, blasted a crazy light, and fried all of Brian's gear. After Brian and his plane finally got back on track 20 minutes later, they discovered they had landed 13 kilometers away from the strange cave. Brian couldn't recall how the plane moved during the blackout. Despite attempts to return to the coordinates, constant bad weather and a strict no-fly zone meant he never laid eyes on the Antarctic cave entrance again. In the years that followed, Brian quietly connected with other pilots who confirmed seeing silver disks near Antarctic bases. A colleague stationed near Euler Peak even shared proof of unidentified submerged object activity in the Weddell Sea with metallic pods surfacing and diving without a splash. Another friend got hold of satellite thermal printouts showing heat signatures under Wilkes Land, hinting at temporary habitation bubbles or facilities. Comparing notes painted a picture of secret activities beneath miles of Antarctic ice, possibly linked to the silver aircraft Brian witnessed performing crazy moves over the glaciers. Today, the memories of those bizarre experiences still haunt Brian at night. The truth, whether frightening or amazing, weighs on him. But Brian isn't alone. There's a growing group of veterans in the know about Antarctica's mysteries, eager for disclosure. With space agencies planning bases over Earth's southern pole, our civilization might have to face the unsettling reality of what or who already lives in Antarctica's deepest corners. Brian's story is the key to unlocking Antarctica's ultimate secret. It challenges our ideas about human history and raises questions about our place on a remarkably intelligent planet. Even if some revelations are tough, wisdom tells us to embrace the truth in the collective light of understanding rather than let it linger in the darkness of ignorance and denial. Approaching reality with an open yet discerning mind is our best way forward in evolution. Brian's incredible testimony of encountering strange silver disks and a glowing ice cavern deep beneath the Antarctic surface once again echoed Admiral Byrd's description of vast, hollowed interior domains filled with peculiar crafts. The consistent eyewitness accounts spanning decades, now linked by Linda's investigations, built a bridge of credibility that authorities have tirelessly tried to demolish since the 1940s through media manipulation and intimidation tactics. In contrast to Byrd's era, where centralized mass media control and unchecked technocratic elite authority prevailed, today's internet-powered paradigm shift toward data democratization has made the suppression of the Antarctic puzzle impossible. A global movement erupted on social media around the hashtag Antarctica Truth campaign, spearheaded by Linda's research challenging previous taboos surrounding the icy continent's concealed secrets. These secrets were deemed implausible for establishment circles to acknowledge, yet too consistent over successive generations of observers to dismiss. All this time, Antarctica's cloudiness hid in plain sight, 
reflected in world maps framing its vague outlines but leaving the interior hidden in an information void. While scientists jokingly discuss fully mapping distant planetary bodies like Mars, they acknowledge their ignorance about the vast Antarctic interface conditions that separate Earth's crust from its churning outer core underneath the ice sheet. As one recent scientific study concluded, it seems unlikely that Amundsen and Scott could have raced to the South Pole across hundreds of miles of unexplored mountain ranges whose existence never factored into their travel plans. In simpler terms, whether due to nuclear activity altering the Antarctic climate or the cycles of civilizations rising and falling, advanced species might have called Antarctica home eons before mankind. Linda's investigations repeatedly encountered a coordinated campaign to keep the curtain lowered over Antarctica's out-of-sight secrets, passing hands from military agencies to archaeological establishments and connecting power centers across continents through the decades. However, as exiled scientists and defecting private contractors consolidated testimonies for public release, the enforced ignorance over humanity's southernmost frontier approached a reckoning. What emerged next held promise for uniting global society or fracturing mankind irreparably based on collective reactions to truths that chilled to the bone. Brian and Linda Howe's work played a crucial role in prying open access to Antarctica's deepest riddles, revelations that soon held promise to irrevocably alter society's understanding of itself across every core discipline and institutionalized field of knowledge. But intellectual courage and discretion must guide public interpretation towards revelation over retreat or denial. The opportunity glitters before humanity to elevate its collective maturity through wisdom rather than cower behind barricades of instability from newly exposed realities. Confronting the full Antarctic truth with eyes wide open holds seeds for unleashing elevation or destruction upon ourselves. We stand advised to choose our next steps carefully. As the ice slowly recedes, so will structure secrecy over our planet's final frontier. However, Antarctica isn't just a frozen chunk of land. Number five, from iconic imagery to shocking narratives. Antarctica is a breathtaking masterpiece that showcases Earth's raw and unfiltered beauty. This icy wonderland is like no other place, capturing imaginations and stirring awe in those lucky enough to witness its grandeur. Think about the electric blue ice caves, lit up by frozen microbes, and glaciers weaving their way to the sea in a braided design. Antarctica's visuals are like a wonderland that leaves a lasting impression on your soul. People who've stood on Antarctica's surface say it's an amazing experience. Despite the isolation and cold, there's an undeniable beauty in the air. Massive tabular icebergs, sculpted into abstract shapes, float along the currents. Snow petrels and Antarctic terns gracefully glide above cracks and crevasses, their ethereal dance accompanied by the wind's whisper. Through cameras, pens, and paintings, humans have tried to capture Antarctica's magic. Iconic images like Earthrise, revealing our planet as a floating oasis in space, or documentaries like March of the Penguins, showcasing the quirky charm of Emperor Penguins, have turned Antarctica into a muse for talented creators. Works like The White Darkness and The Worst Journey in the World tell gripping tales of polar exploration, showcasing Antarctica's grandeur and its unforgiving nature during the heroic age. First published in 1922, The Worst Journey in the World tells the story of Robert Falcon Scott's tragic journey to the South Pole. Apsley Cherry Garrard, the youngest member of Scott's team and one of the three men to embark on and survive the dangerous winter journey, draws on his own experiences and the diaries of his companions to create a vivid and detailed account of Scott's legendary expedition. Cherry himself was part of the search party that found the bodies of Scott and his men who had perished from starvation and the harsh cold. It is through Cherry's insightful narrative and vivid descriptions that Scott and the other members of the team are fully commemorated nowadays. Adventurers hop on Antarctic cruises to witness wildlife found nowhere else on Earth against backdrops of ice and rock, 
too beautiful for words. Imagine coming face to face with curious penguins, unafraid as they waddle on volcanic beaches between icy waters and towering cliffs frozen in time. And let's not forget the Southern Lights, Earth's celestial masterpiece, casting vibrant ribbons of green and violet across the night sky, creating a hypnotic, otherworldly spell. A single glimpse of Antarctica's splendor reveals a dimension of beauty and rarity at our planet's poles. As explorer Wally Herbert once said, no place on Earth has provoked such heightened emotions as the starkly beautiful Antarctic Peninsula. Preserving Antarctica isn't just about the planet's health. It's about safeguarding a precious gem at the bottom of the world that sparks human imagination through its sheer beauty. Nature's masterpiece indeed, understanding Antarctica's subglacial world. Antarctica isn't just a pretty face. It's got hidden mysteries beneath its icy surface that are like untouched treasures waiting to be explored. The Antarctic ice sheet, holding a whopping 70% of Earth's fresh water, hides a secret world of lakes, rivers, and canyons. This icy continent forms the biggest chunk of ice on the planet, and we've only scratched the surface of what's going on down there. Thanks to fancy satellite imagery and ice-penetrating radars, scientists have started uncovering this hidden world. Imagine a maze of water systems silently flowing beneath miles of ice. It's like a secret aquatic kingdom, and we're only just starting to figure out what's happening in this frozen network. The big question is whether there are unique microbes down there, adapted to extreme cold and darkness, living their best life. One of the most popular of this hidden world is Lake Vostok, the largest subglacial lake on Earth. Russian scientists had a hunch about it in the 1960s, but it took until the late 1990s to confirm its existence. Imagine a freshwater bubble trapped under 13,000 feet of ice, untouched by the atmosphere for over 20 million years. The conditions there are as harsh as it gets, like something out of a sci-fi movie. Scientists are curious if tiny life forms adapted to Lake Vostok could give us clues about the possibility of life on other planets that are just as tough. So Antarctica isn't just stunning on the outside, it's got a whole hidden world beneath its icy exterior that's begging to be explored. What are your thoughts on the bold revelations made by Brian? Let us know your opinion in the comments below.